What's up, Brooklyn? I'm Dakota. <laughs> That's Farmer Joe. Oh, dirty Joe. Uh, pretty excited for our day. Be ready to give me some surfing lessons. Hello, everybody. Um, we do have a date video today, number seven, which is crazy because we're almost through with the dating videos. But before we get to the video, I kind of wanted to preface some events that happened while I went on this date. I don't know if any of y'all know, but while I was doing the 10 Dates for 10 Days series, I was staying with the Mike Sell family. Um, and if you don't know who they are, they're just like a really fun little YouTube family. And they're um, some of our really, really good family friends. So I was staying with their family and Betsy, the mom, she was the one that was helping me set up all these dates and was helping me film them and all that kind of stuff. We went down to a place in Utah for this date, this video, and it was the first date that Betsy didn't go on with me since we were going to be boating and we didn't have like tons of room in the boat. But while I did that, they went and visited their friends Shad and Jocelyn, which are, they're also kind of influencers. And if you guys follow them, you know that Shad has a six seater plane and that while they were visiting them, they, the Mike Sell family and Shad and Jaslyn were in a plane wreck in that plane. That actually happened while I was on the state. So if you watch the video, I went boating and did all these things. I didn't have reception and I had no idea that they'd gotten in a plane wreck during the date. And so we still got some video clips, but I did find out partway through the date. And so things got a little chaotic and that's why if there isn't any context in the video, it's because we were all trying to figure out how to deal with this really big life crisis. But if you guys wanna hear more about the story of the plane wreck, if you guys wanna hear about their healing process, what they're going through now, how they're raising money, all these kinds of things, you can check out their YouTube channels and all of their socials. I'm gonna pop up all of them right here. They're literally the sweetest family and they are champions. They're all okay. Everybody in the plane wreck, they all survived and they're okay. They're just, you know, trying to heal and stuff. So if you guys wanna know more about the story, you can check it out here. But I just wanted to give you guys some context because if you've been following them, you know that the timeline does kind of match up with my videos. So that's kind of how it all went down. After the plane wreck, I actually was planning on not finishing the dating series and just focusing on Betsy and the Myself family because that's what was important to me. But Betsy, being the wonderful human that she is, she, she was like, I need you to finish the dating series because it's bringing me joy and it's giving me something to look forward to every day when I have all these other really hard and traumatic things going on at the time. So I did finish the dating series. I do have all these videos that I'm still putting up, but I did want to give you guys some context because the energy in those videos is definitely a little bit different because I was struggling with the, the Mike Sell family and Betsy's not there and we, we just had a lot of heavy things going on at the time. So the next couple of videos, they're just gonna probably be a little bit different energy. Anyway, I just wanted to like preface this video with all of that information so you guys knew that. If you wanna know all the other, you know, plane wreck things and you wanna know the story, you guys can just check it out. I'll put the links in the description box for all that kind of stuff. So that is all and we are gonna go on. You guys can watch date number seven now. Not gonna lie, I'm just like this much nervous because I don't know how to wake for it. I don't know how to do all the, you know, boating things. That seems like a consistent theme for these dates. Doing things Brooklyn's not good at. But it's okay because it's gonna be fun and we're gonna meet a lot of new fun people and it's gonna be a bus, so yay. How are you feeling after like a three hour drive? Um, I'm feeling good. I'm kind of like nervous but also pumped because this date's gonna be long because we're like boating, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know, hopefully it's good, you know? I don't like, know. okay, so I talked to him on the phone before mm -hmm. this and I really liked him. Like, I feel like he seems like a cool, chill guy. Oh, good. We're like out in the country. Like, this is like her horse arena area. I mean, yeah, we're on like a <gasps> ranch right now. Oh my gosh, I, I want you to really come riding horses too. Maybe we'll have to like sneak that in if we can. I do like riding Ooh. horses. Okay. Hey, he's here! Hi! Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hi Brooklyn, nice to meet you. Dakota. Everyone, this is the camera. You can say hello. Hello everyone. <laughs> so we're going boating today? Yep, we are. So nice. I'm a couple things, so. I want everyone to know that I'm about to ride one of these by myself. Be proud of me. Also, look at all their fun toys. Seriously, this is crazy. Oh, 
It's about to head off. Pretty pumped. I've never been surfing before on a boat, so this is gonna be an interesting experience because I feel like I might be with a group of experienced people. I might just look like an infant, but it'll be worth a shot. Excited? Well, hopefully I'll figure, I'll figure it out. There you go. Go, babe. Okay, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Think so. Okay, get her, Blake. One to ten, how good is she? Oh, a ten, easy. She's pro. I've never seen anyone get up that quick. And throw the rope in. Do please. Okay, okay, how do you feel? I feel good. I got up for a good amount of time. I was pretty happy about that. You're pro. That last one I was like, I think I'm gonna drown, so I just like let go. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna ride double. She's gonna ride on my shoulders. How do we feel about that? I mean, he seems like he knows what he's doing. I'm sure I'll <laughs> survive. So I'm pretty proud of myself.
since we don't have Betsy here with us, I'm going to interview you. Pretend like I'm not here. Okay. Okay. How did the date go? It was awesome. Got some uh, surfing lessons from Brooklyn. <laughs> she got up her first time. <laughs> she got up her first time. And we went razor riding and I thought I was gonna die, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I was charming. <laughs> On like a scale of one to 10, like what would you have given Oh, it? definitely a 10. Sweet. <laughs> that makes me proud. Pretend like I'm not here. Just kidding, I'm giving all the commentary. Yeah, what was your favorite part of the day? It was all really good. I did not think Brooklyn was such a good driver. Scary driver. <laughs> Scary driver, actually. Yeah, no. whoops. <laughs> She's really good though. Whoops, yeah, he had to grab the handlebars a few times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I so the ride home from my date, I realized that I didn't do my interview, but it was like a three hour drive, so now I'm home. Just washed my face, which is why it's pink, but also I got a little sunburn, which is why it's also pink. This is all besides the point. I need to do an interview, so I'm gonna just interview myself because it's really late and I don't wanna wake anyone up to interview me. Number one, how did I feel about the date? I thought it was literally so freaking fun. I did, we did so many things that I like have never done before and I love doing crap like that. So I like really liked that we were able to do some like adventurous stuff. Um, I also number two thought that like not only was my date really easy to get along with and super nice and really fun, but also so were all his friends. So I was like, oh, I kind of fit into the friend group. That was cool. But yeah, like, and then my date himself was like, I just thought he was so sweet. Like the whole time he was like hyping me up. Like anytime I was doing anything, he's like, you go girl, like you can beat me. Like just such a nice guy, so sweet. Had so much fun. I don't know if you guys could see that in the video, but it was literally like, oh, I was having a blast all day, just laughing to my stomach hurt. So yeah, I don't know, another really good date, guys. Ah!